Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about a new application for testing APIs and the name is HTTPIE. You can find on the HTTPIE.io and here we have a desktop terminal. Also you can work here with the on the web so you can go this uh, go to app and you can test your APIs here. But what I'm going to show you is to download and install a desktop application. Here you go to desktop and get the Mac app because I am using Mac but you have also the Windows and Linux version. Okay so I have downloaded that and also let, I have created a Laravel project so first let's open the post uh, migration and here is only with title and the body. Also let's open the post model. Okay post factory Okay, and also the if I open the database, see there I have created 10 posts here. And then the API route, here I have registered this route API resource post using the post controller. And now I'm going to show you the post controller. So first get all the posts ordered by created at desk paginate 10. And then we use this post resource. Here I return an ID title body and the created ad. I return post resource collection. Then we have the store post create request. Although we use this store post request is very simple. Just add some rules for title and the body. And then we say post create request all pass on the post and return JSON new post resource and also the Joe one uh, status code, then show return also new post resource to the post. On the update, we use this update, which is uh, similar as the create request. And we say post update request all, and then return the response JSON, new post resource, pass in the post and also the status code, and the destroy response JSON null Joe for. Okay, here now, now I have opened the Insomnia and the SCTBI. And I'm going to start with Insomnia, so get all the posts here. We make request, get request to this API slash posts, and here we have all the posts, 1 to 10. Okay, a single post also, make a request uh, API slash post and the uh, ID now if I say send we have a uh, no request no query results for the model with ID 12 but if I change that to be one yeah here we have that and as you can see I have added this accept application JSON if I run without that we have that but if I change the 12 we have 404 not found okay if we add the application JSON, now we have this message, no query result for model. Okay, then we have to create a new post. So in here, we make a post request to API slash post. And on the body, I'm going to add, for example, not second, but let's say insomnia. I'm going to say insomnia. And I'm going to, send, to say send. And now we have ID 11, the title is Insomnia and body, with body and the created at this one. If I go now to all posts, make a get request, here we have the ID 11, Insomnia and body. Okay, we can update also that, so I'm going to go to uh, 11 ID. A put request to the API slash post slash ID 11 and I'm going to say post updated. If I say send now, we have returned that post with ID 11 and title post updated. If I go back now to all posts, before was insomnia, the title with ID 11, but if I make send request again, now we have post updated. And also we have the delete post. 
So if I make a delete request uh, API post and ID 11, we don't need here body. I'm going to make a send request. Now we have no body returned for response. But as you can see, we have 204, no content. And now let's go to all posts before we had this post with ID 11. If I make a get request, now we have ID 1, 2, that, that. Okay, this was with Insomnia. Now let's see the new application, which is the HTTP IE. And I'm going to start to get all the posts. So we make a get request to this API slash post. And if I make a get request right now, we have ID one, the, that. Okay, then for a single one, we have the ID one. Then to create a new post, here we use body with title. I'm going to make it to change that to HTTP IE. And now let's make a send request. We'll return. 201 created and with the post is with ID 12 now and the title this title okay body and created that then we have a put request to update that and I'm going to change title updated for example or we can yeah title updated but this one is going to be for the ID 12 so the post we created if I make a send request now we have title updated and if I go to post the get all post here we have the ID 12. The same thing we can do also for the delete. If I make a delete request 11, which we don't have, we have 404 because we need on, on the headers to add accept and the value is application JSON. Now, if I make a send request again, we have a no query results for this model. But if I change that ID to 12, which exists, now we have response 204. Okay, so here I have created this folder. I named this Laravel, and here I have the uh, get all the posts, get single one, make a post to create a new one update and delete uh, so i have grouped them on this folder and as you can see this is uh, more clean so maybe you don't have any uh, too much features but i think it's more clear so we can also remove entirely that sidebar and here we have the simple ui url a response here and here you can add params, for example, in here, or when we make a post request on the body, you can choose raw JSON YAML file and XML file. But we're going to use we are using JSON. The same for the put. You can add also environments here. You can log in if you want. So here we are on cognito mode as you can see but you can log in with github if you want okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much Get that.